Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome. We are live. Today is Friday, the, the third. Third. third of April. Friday, the third of April. And it is now two o'clock on the dot. Mm -hmm. For those of you who are not having lunch at the moment, please let us know what is your name and what did you eat for lunch? So mm -hmm. maybe you had lunch before, uh, let us know in the comment section below your name and what did you eat for lunch? Mm -hmm. In the meantime, while this is happening, we're going to introduce ourselves. I was <laughs> this side, this side. Yeah, you, you. Okay, thank you, Joanna. Um, my name is Kate. I am from the United States of America. Uh, but now I live in San Giovanni in Persiceto. I am 28 years old and I work at Bologna, Maya, uh, Bologna Mille, uh, the Maya school. Awesome. What did you eat for lunch? Nothing yet. I will have lunch after this. Oh my word, you're eating late. You're eating lunch late today. Mm -hmm, yes. Uh, I would never be able to do that. It's difficult, but yeah, I'm hungry. What are you going to eat? I I think um, tuna fish, something quick and easy. Are you cooking or is your husband going to cook? No, it's not even with cooking, just cans. Okay, something, mm -hmm. something simple and easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially because the timing, it's like, it's too late to eat. Exactly. Uh, proper lunch. Yep. <laughs> yeah, understood. And I am Joanna. I come from Cape Town, South Africa. Um, mm -hmm. My eyebrows look weird. <laughs> no, they don't. Um, I am also a teacher at Bologna Mille with Kate. Um, I do not live in the center of Bologna. I live in the countryside. And what I eat? I ate something very simple for lunch as well. Because my time period, I literally said to my boyfriend, I said, I have 12 minutes to eat lunch. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I just ate some uh, sufficini. Oh. It was really nice. The one with um, mozzarella and prosciutto cotto inside mm -hmm. of it. Nice. Sounds good. Something simple. Yeah, it was good. I'm, I'm still hungry. I could probably go for something else. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll wait until dinner this evening. Mm. And yes, that's me. So yes, guys, please let us know what is your name and what did you eat for lunch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for people to join with us and interact, we'll keep the question there. And we will start with our awesome, awesome focus activity. Yes. All right. Let's take a look. So, oh, look at the background. I don't know how to remove that background, but okay. <laughs> so, today our focus activity is favorite things. Mm -hmm. favorite. What is your favorite thing, Kate? Ooh, that is a difficult question. I think my favorite thing is sleeping. <laughs> sleeping? Probably mm -hmm. mine too. If you could choose a physical object, something materialistic, what would that be? Can I say food? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you can say food. Okay, food. <laughs> All food, any food. Perfect. Okay. Uh, my favorite thing, probably non-materialistic, would be sleeping, mm -hmm. like yours. And mm -hmm. a materialistic thing, oh my word, what could that be? Um, um, curling cream for my hair. Good. Curling cream. I can't think of anything else on the tip of my tongue. Because to say my cell phone or a television or a book, it's it's easy. Mm -hmm. So curling cream to keep my curls nice. Okay, nice. Good. Um, we have a viewer. Hi, I'm Emanuela. I'm from Genova, 
Erica, I'm 38 years old. I ate, so remember when we talk about the past, we put the verb in the past. I ate rice and fish for lunch. Excellent, sounds like a really good meal. Mm -hmm. Very healthy. Yes, super healthy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. In the meantime, let us continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like to read? Sure. So favorite things in this focus activity, like and don't like, favorites and activities. Mm. So likes, don't likes, favorites and activities. A lot of new uh, vocabulary is going to be learned today with things and how to express I like and I don't like and asking questions about favorite things. Oh, we have activities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> can I read the left? Go ahead. Uh, listen to, read, play, cook, go, watch, and go to. Mm -hmm. And on the right hand side, we have letter A to G. A, Chinese food. B, my MP3 player. C, films. D, books. E, the gym. F, sport. And G, shopping. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. So, what we want you guys to do is to match the left to the right. For example, listen to what? What do I listen to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I let's look. So the first answer is Chinese food. And I don't think you can listen to Chinese food. Definitely you. not. You okay. can you can taste Chinese food, you can smell it, you can eat it too, mm -hmm. but not listen to Chinese food. No. So let us know in the comment section below, guys. We listen to, ah, M. Manuela says M. We don't have letter M, not at but all. I think maybe you might mean B. Let us know in the comments. There we go. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Listen to my MP3 player. Good job, Emanuela. What Good. about read? What do I read? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can't read A because it's food. Mm -hmm. I can't read B because it is music. Mm -hmm. I can't read C because, ah, look. Great job, Emanuela. Emanuela says read books. Mm -hmm. Good job. We can also read articles. Uh, magazines, um, newspapers. Mm -hmm. Can you read the newspaper? I can read the newspaper. I don't read the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? Let us know in the comment section. Do you read the newspaper? The newspaper. So it tells us about everything happening in our country or our region, mm -hmm. like you have, um, I only know the one that's here in, in Bologna, Resto, Resto del Car yeah. Carlino. No, I'm probably very wrong. No, it's true. But Il Resto del Carlino is the newspaper in Bologna. Mm -hmm. So do you guys read the newspaper? If so, let us know which one. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about play? Play. I play. 
Mm. So we can't play Chinese food. Again, it's food. We can't play films because we need to look at a film. Mm -hmm. I can't play the gym because the gym is a location, right? Ah, Manuela, good. Awesome, and Manuela is good at this. So I play sport. Mm -hmm. okay. So you play sport or do mm -hmm. any sport? No, but I dance. You dance? Mm -hmm. Don't you do yoga too? Is yoga a sport? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What would you define yoga as? An activity, maybe. And um, okay. it's exercise, but it's not competitive. So I think maybe it's not a sport. Do you do yoga though? I do. I do yoga. Are you doing yoga during quarantine? I should be doing yoga during quarantine. I am not. Oh no. So it's to do yoga. Let us know guys, are you doing yoga as well during quarantine? I'm not. I did do Zumba the other day. Mm. And now I want to create a challenge probably on my Facebook for the cha-cha slide. <laughs> okay. What you do you know the cha cha the song? Of course. One half this time, right foot, <laughs> left <stop. laughs> So I want to do the cha cha slide challenge um, to see people just doing something different, other than sitting and watching television or sleeping, just to move a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, go if you have the chance. Google cha-cha slide mm -hmm. on youtube but type in cha-cha slide lyrics okay mm -hmm. and follow the instructions the man is saying for example clap your hands he will tell you to do things it's really really fun Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm sweating. Yeah. There is also uh, something similar from Beyonce, um, where I'll send you the link where there's a dance you can do. Uh, and it's supposed to be for exercise. Um, okay. I have to send it. I can't remember the name. I'll look it up. <laughs> you have time. Think about it, send it to me on WhatsApp. I will. In the meantime, guys, cook. What do we cook? I don't cook anything. No, me Because I'm very bad at cooking. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you cook? I cook pasta sometimes mm -hmm. because it's easy. <laughs> But pasta by itself or with a sauce? With a sauce, yeah. Um, I, I I cook it, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean I cook it that it tastes good. That's yesterday I made meatballs, polpette. Um, it wasn't so bad. Oh, that's good. See, you do cook. You cook meatballs. <laughs> I try. I try. So let us know, guys. What do you cook? So from left to right, cook, match the verb to the adjective. Mm -hmm. I mean, the activity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the activity. Okay. What do you... Yeah, the activity. Yeah, so let's think. We cook things like pasta and you can cook lunch or dinner. So we know that what we are cooking, what we cook, it is a food. It's something mm -hmm. you eat. So in this yeah. list, where can we find something we eat? Mm, I think it might be A. I think so. Think so? I think so too. 
Yeah. Good. Let's try. Chinese food. Let's see. Yes. yes. Nice. But what about Go? Go is not that easy. No. Go. Mm hmm. So we know Go. It's about movement. Ah, look. We have a viewer. Hello. Wonderful webinar. I cook lunch. Have a fantastic webinar. Thank you, Monique. Thank you, Monique. Monique, what are you cooking for lunch today? Please let us know in the comment section. Tell us. Today, Monique, Monique loves fennel. Mm -hmm. So are you making anything with fennel, Monique? <laughs> Please let us know. What, tell us. Yes. So go, the verb. We know it's movement. Mm -hmm. So if I go to the supermarket, I literally walk. I go. So we need a location or we need an activity in the present continuous. Mm -hmm. With ing. You can also have an activity with go. Mm -hmm. So you go to, ah, yes. Good job. You Excellent, Emanuela. Go shopping. Mm -hmm. I love shopping. Me too. Oh, She also cool. gives us the last one, which is go to the gym. Perfection. Oh, what about watch? There's one more missing, Emanuela. Watch. What do I watch? watch. What, what activity do we need? So we can't watch music. So mm -hmm. no B. We can't watch food. Well, we don't watch food. So no A. We don't we watch books. Mm -mm. No, we read books. Mm -hmm. So what do we watch here? Something visual. Oh, Monique has an answer. Awesome. Okay. I'm cooking barley and cauliflower for lunch. Bon appetito. Have a good lunch, Monique. Have a good lunch. Sounds awesome and healthy. Super, super. Okay. So... I think maybe we watch films. What do you think, Joanna? I agree. We watch films mm -hmm. and go to the gym. So Manuela said watch TV, which mm -hmm. is also true. We do. And we watch TV series. We watch movies. We watch the news. Um, yeah. So tell us, what is your favorite tv series what is your favorite tv series yes oh it's a tv series yeah favorite tv series what is your favorite tv series joanna um oh i have to think i really like crime tv series like i love NCIS, I love uh, um, Criminal wow. Minds, uh, The Mentalist. I don't get a chance to watch them all the time. Mm -hmm. Now I'm watching a really good TV series called The Man in the High Castle on Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend it to everybody if they enjoy history. Mm -hmm. um, it was very, very different to what I was expecting. Really? Yeah, it is It is about um, the world. So we, we live in this world, um, but in sort of like an alternate reality or universe, if the, if, uh, the Japanese and the Nazis didn't lose the war. Ooh, that sounds like a scary, scary thing. No, not at all. It's really, really good. It's a great series. Um, mm -hmm. They took over America. So America was split into two. 
in one part the east coast was for the germans and the west coast was for the japanese um but it's really good because there it's still part of another alternate reality what happened if because then it's sort of their history as well what happens if the nazis and the japanese also didn't win hmm. uh, like playing it out for them in the years of the 1940s like what could the world look like mm -hmm. interesting really, really i may really have to check it out yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, emanuela says my favorite tv series is westworld what is westworld i think it is a um science fiction series i think I think I'm writing it down. Everybody is giving me good recommendations for a series. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What I'm, about you, Kate? What is your favorite TV series? Oh, thanks. I um, my favorite TV series is Parks and Recreation. Um, it's a funny series about people who work for the government in the parks and recreation department. So that's the okay. that that manages all of the city parks. And it's very funny because all of the characters are really unique and their relationships are quite funny to watch. Is it sort of in the line, like the, the humor, like The Office? Yes, it's similar to The Office or to 30 Rock, or um, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, yeah, like The Office, basically. It's really okay, I have to watch it. Yes. Um, Start so, recreations. How many seasons are there? There are seven, but I recommend you start from season three, episode one, because you don't miss anything very important. And the cast, so the actors, change a little bit. In the first two seasons, they have uh, another person. He leaves the show, and it really gets funny in season three when they add two new characters. So for me, that's where I think the series really starts. So I always watch from season three, and I will always watch all the way to seven. Mm-hmm. Three. It's really, really funny. Okay. okay, I've written it down. I'm going to see it. Is it on Netflix? It is. It is on Netflix. That's even better. Okay, Parks and Recreation. Would exactly. you like to read Manuela's comment? Sure. Westworld is an American science fiction Western television series. Wow. That sounds cool. It's a good sentence. Yeah. That was perfect. Thank you very much, Manuela. Oh, nice. Let us continue with our beautiful or wonderful focus activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have, do you like, uh, would you like to read the top part? Sure. Do you like listening to music? We also have other activities like reading books, watching TV, cooking, going to the cinema, playing sport, and meeting friends. Yes, and at the bottom we have, do you like music? Then we have more activities, books, Mexican food, films, sport, TV and skiing. So at home, what we want you to do is to practice the pronunciation of this word, skiing. Mm -hmm. So this is not how it's spelled, but the pronunciation skiing. Because if you don't pronounce it properly, it sounds like skin. And this is skin. I I like skin. <laughs> really? <laughs> so we want you to say ski-ing. 
Kate, would you like to uh, to say it again? Sure. Skiing. Ski so remember, skiing is the verb, and it's the sport we do during winter. Sure. Um, Italians love skiing. You usually go to the Alps and you ski down the mountain. Um, so you like skiing and not skin. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So what is important to remember here mm -hmm. is that we have, do you like, when we have the question, do you like, we either use the verb in or we use the noun. For example, do you like playing sports? Playing sports is your continuous form of the verb. It is the verb ing. But if you use the noun, do you like sports? Okay, that is your noun. You're not referring to the activity, but you're referring to the topic. Do you like sports? Can you give them another example? Sure. So, do you like, if we talk about the activity, we can say, do you like going to the supermarket? And if we want to use the actual noun, we can say, do you like the supermarket? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like the exactly. supermarket? So either we use the verb ing or we use the noun. But what is also important to remember, when we have the auxiliary do, sort of where my arrow is here underneath that, do, okay? We always respond with a shorter answer, either yes, I do, or no, I don't. For example, Kate, do you like sports? Yes, I do. Awesome. Do you like, do okay. you like uh, cooking? No, I don't. <laughs> Awesome, that's it. So when we ask with an auxiliary do, shorter answer, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. What we want you guys to do in the comment section is to give us some example questions, like example, do you like watching television? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the entire sentence? So, mm -hmm. Kate, do you like reading books? I do. I like reading books. Awesome. You want to ask me a question? Yeah, do you like reading books? I love reading books. So, yes, I do. Yes. What about you guys at home watching? Do you like reading books? Ask Let us know in the comment section below. Hmm? I was going to say, you can practice also asking and answering the question if you are watching this later at home. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you're right. So I'm going to put it in the question section. Do you like reading books? Mm -hmm. Let us know if you do. Mm -hmm. Do you hey. like? Mm -hmm. Do you like Mexican food? I love Mexican food. I love it. Do you like Mexican food? Yes, I do. Affirmative. Yeah. Yes. I do. Good. What about you guys at home? Um, do you like Mexican food? Mm -hmm. Yes. I like Mexican food because it is spicy. Mm, what is spicy? Spicy means 
It is very hot. Like, ah, ouch. Oh, my mouth is burning. Hmm. Okay. Do, do you, you like Mexican food? Hmm. I okay. do. Do yes. you, you like meeting friends? I do. Yes, I do. I love meeting friends. Do you like meeting friends, Joanna? Negative. <laughs> Negative. No, I don't. No, no. I, I'm joking. I do like meeting friends. I just wanted to give them a negative response to practice. Nice. Uh, yes, I do like meeting friends. What about yeah. all of you, all four viewers? Let us know. Do you like meeting friends? Good. Let us know. Remember, affirmative? Yes, I do. A negative? Okay. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have four viewers. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Wow, welcome. Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy at all, guys. Let us know in the comment section, even if you have a question for us. Like, mm -hmm. you want to know if Kate likes swimming. Kate, do you like swimming? Yes, I do. I love swimming and I love swimming in the summertime, in the Ooh. summer. What mm -hmm. is your favorite season? Ooh, it is summer. <laughs> summer too? Yes, I love summer because mm. it is hot and there is sun. What about you, Joanna? What is your favorite season? My favorite season has to be spring. Mm. I love spring because all of the colors come back after winter. Mm -hmm. yeah, the weather is perfect. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. Um, you hear the birds early in the morning. Um, I don't know. I just love it very, very much. Nice. It's going to be reborn. Everything is new. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. That's really nice. I uh, Let's see. Joanna? Do you like um, playing sports? Yes, 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 I do. I do. I love sports. I am a very competitive person when it comes to sports. So to be competitive, mm -hmm. competitive is an adjective and it means that I like to win. I like winning and I like beating other people in competitions and matches. I, it's my favorite. That's wonderful. Do you, do you like skiing? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, I why? Don't. Because I am afraid of heights no really yes i am very afraid but you go hiking and stuff when i'm on my feet it's okay but, but when you you're on your feet you need to take a lift and i will not take the lift so what do you do when you go to a supermarket and you take, or um, a shopping mall and you take a, an elevator? What do you do? I, in the past, I was afraid of elevators. Now it is okay. But sometimes when the elevator or when the lift is very old, I am very nervous. <laughs> I can only imagine. Um, did you see the apartment building that everybody stayed in in Palermo? Yes, I was thinking about that elevator. It is 
the scariest <gasps> elevator I have ever seen in my life. That elevator was terrifying. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so guys, please let us know uh, what do you guys like at home and do you like elevators? No, I don't. <laughs> Would you like to read? Sure. My favorites. So what's your favorite film? My favorite film is Titanic. Who's your favorite actress? My favorite actress is Kate Winslet. That's my name. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I know what your government name is. You know my government name. I do. Uh, okay, Joanna, would you like to read the words on the bottom? <laughs> yes, footballer, singer, Band, color, sport, food, actor, restaurant, day of the week, song. Hmm. This word is interesting. I like this word, footballer. Ooh. A footballer is also a football player or a soccer player. Mm -hmm. Because remember, in in America, you guys say soccer. We do. Okay, so in America they say soccer. So a person who plays football or soccer is a soccer player or a football player or a footballer. A footballer. Good. Yes. Ooh. So we. What do we have? that's different than the slide before Kate because remember the slide before we used the auxiliary mm -hmm. yes so in the previous slide the slide before we saw that questions only had the auxiliary do you like and when there is only the auxiliary we can respond with yes or no, only. But now in this slide, we have question words. So what is your favorite film? Who is your favorite actress? And then how can we respond differently, Joanna? So when there are question words, like Kate said, what and who, we need to give more information. So we need to give a longer answer or a longer response. For example, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is tortellini or pasta. You need a longer sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So in this slide, we have three question words that we are focusing on. The first one is what? When do we use what? We use what for things. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite film? What do you do for work? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we have who. When do we use who? Who is your favorite actress? This is a person. So we use who for people. And last but not least, which? Mm. This is an interesting word. It's similar to what, but you must choose between two options. 
So I can, for example, ask Joanna, which do you prefer, pasta or pizza? She must choose. So which is for choice? Exactly. Perfect example. I prefer pasta. Or another example. Which cell phone do you like? A. Apple. B. Huawei. Which one? Or even B. Samsung. Kate, which one? A. Apple. iPhone. Or B. Samsung. Samsung. So I would say I prefer Samsung. Yeah, high five. <laughs> Perfect. So yes, one more time. What for things, who for people, and which for choice. Fantastic. So in the comment section, guys, make us some questions. Write us some questions using what, who, or which with the words at the bottom over here. Mm -hmm. For example, who is your favorite singer? Mm. Let us know, who is your favorite singer? Okay, who's yours? My favorite singer is Florence Welch from the group Florence and the Machine. I thought so. She's got a oh a beautiful, beautiful voice. Oh, she so, does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. Thank um, you. Who is who your else? favorite singer? I don't have next. I don't necessarily have a favorite singer. Um, I like lots of different singers for lots of different reasons. I have a favorite band. Okay. What is your favorite band? I'm going to type out the question for them. Yeah. What is your favorite band? Mm -hmm. Also, guys, remember, a band is a group of musicians. For example, Queen or Linkin Park. Or I'm trying to get for every... Every genre. Cold play. Metallica. Mm-hmm. Or um Giovanotti. <laughs> or the Jonas Brothers. Or the Beatles. Or ABBA. Wow. You are oh, the dancing <laughs> queen. <laughs> exactly. Um, my favorite band is Hosier. Oh, I love Hosier so much. You do? Yes, he's amazing. I love his new album. And so do I. Mm -hmm. So that would be my favorite band. They have a lead singer, but they also have other musicians mm -hmm. playing the guitar, playing the drums. What about you? Who's your favorite band, Kate? Florence and the Machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's easy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Kate, what's your favorite color? My, I, okay, hold on. I will answer with the plural because I have two favorite colors, maybe three. One is purple. So my favorite colors are purple, lights, like a sea foam green, like a, like a light green, and pink. Really? Yes, it's very strange. Also dark red, like this. Like a burgundy? Like a burgundy, yeah, I like it. I was waiting for you to say purple, black, and red. Those were my old favorite colors, but now okay. I don't, I've become soft. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> so what's important, Kate introduced something nice. 
when we use singular, like my question, what is your favorite color, means one. Is we use for singular. But I can also say, what are your favorite colors, plural. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So let us know in the comment section, guys. What is your favorite color? Yes, let us know. What is your favorite color, Joanna? My favorite color is yellow. Oh, yes. That like is a sunflower. Yes, do you like sunflowers? Funny enough, they are my favorite flowers. That's, I will remember that. Here's an interesting fact about sunflowers. So sunflowers reach directly for the sun. That's why it's called sunflower. Yeah. But if there is no sun during, maybe there is a cloud in the way or it's um, a gray day, the sunflowers will face each other. I didn't know that. Yeah, they will, they'll face each other and sort of look for the sun in each other, I think. Oh I just got a chill. <laughs> I know. Even more reason to like sunflowers. I love sunflowers. And they are not my favorite flower. But some of the people that I like the most, their favorite flowers are sunflowers. Yeah. My very, yeah. My very good friend from California, or California, from Australia loves sunflowers awesome yeah sunflowers what's your favorite flower kate Ooh, i love peonies they're beautiful beautiful flowers and of course i really like hyacinth what's hyacinth hyacinth are tall flowers they don't bloom like this they have many small flowers that bloom like little lilies. And my, but my most favorite flower is a daffodil. Daffodils return every spring. If you only plant them one time, the next season they always come back. So really, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. So it's like rebirth. I'm going to write this down. I've literally written down hyacinth and daffodils. Daff yeah. mm -hmm. daffodils. Very pretty and very wonderful. Um, what is your favorite song, Kay? Ooh, I, right now, I have been listening to Hosier. And so in this moment, my favorite song is probably Nina Cried Power. It's not a bad song at all, mm -hmm. Nina Cried Power. It's a really and, good song. Mm -hmm. I don't even have a favorite song. I love music so much that it could be, I don't know, any song that, that I relate to in, in a specific moment. Me too. Um, we are running out of time. So we've actually maybe got one more minute with you guys. Let's go over some of the things that we learned. Mm -hmm. um, remember that when we have, oh, I have to go through here. The word skiing, we want to hear ing. Would you like to repeat? Skiing. Because if we don't hear the ing, I-N-G, it sounds like skin and it's weird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's strange. Good. What else can we remember? Do you like plus the verb ing or the noun with no ing? So do mm -hmm. you like skiing or do you like the mountains. Mm -hmm. Remember that with do is the auxiliary, all we need is yes or no. Mm -hmm. 
Do you like red? No, I don't like the color red. Okay. When we have question words, remember what for things, who for people, and which for choice. Mm -hmm. Remember that we need a longer answer, more information. And with that, guys, we're going to say goodbye. Remember to go to our My English School SOS page on Facebook if you have any questions related to English or grammar. Mm -hmm. okay, bye, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Stay safe. You too. Yeah, bye.